welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a new screen for my Lenovo. A few days ago I was carrying the laptop and I had something kind of like it was actually a notepad and the the wire bind at the back of the notepad um, kind of got squashed between the keyboard and the screen as I was carrying it and it cracked the screen. If you have a quick look here you'll see the screen is knackered. Um, so I ordered a new panel from Amazon cost about 30 quid. I've been told it's a pretty straightforward process to uh, swap the uh, panels over so uh, let's just have a look at the uh, the actual panel, which I've got just down here. <coughs> okay, so pretty much it's the same, same size. Um, 30 pin connector just there. And it always surprises me how thin these things are and, uh, you know, able to give such a, a a high definition display. So let's uh, let's just have a look at this. <coughs> right, first step I've been told, I'm gonna actually flip this round. I should actually just power this down. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the bevel around the screen. I've been told it just kind of unclips. Yeah which it does. I don't want to snap any of the clips so I just try and be a little bit careful and not force it too much. So, yeah. Oop, so that's pretty easy, it just comes off like that. So I'll stick that down here for a sec. Okay so we've got four uh, locating screws which I'm just going to unscrew now, so just bear with me. Okay, these are just like tiny, tiny little screws. Right, okay, so that's all the screws removed. So the actual panel should just flip forward simple as that and just being careful you'll see the uh, 30 pin connector here I'm just going to try and there's like a bit of um, tape over that like a security tape so I'm just going to remove this tape here otherwise you won't be able to remove the the connector from the actual unit and there just pops out just like that easy um, so that's the old panel uh, not much we can do about that so and the new panel should just be pretty much the um, reverse of taking it apart so let's just uh, clip this back in yep. and lines up and excellent all the screws the screw holes actually are located in the correct place. So I'm just going to put all these screws back in. Right okay so that's all the screws back in and the screen is now secured in place. Uh, it does come with like a, a film over the screen obviously to protect it from uh, marks and things. So I'm just going to peel that off. There it is. There was actually just a little tab in the corner just to make it easy to 
for those tapes. So uh, I'm going to put the uh, bezel back on now. So let me just grab that, and hopefully this will clip in place uh, just as easy as it came off. So uh, let's just. Uh, So let's just have a quick look. Right, so finally that's all clipped into place. Uh, it didn't go quite as straightforward as I thought, but um, nevertheless it was pretty easy and it was uh, probably just my uh, fat hands. So. Looking pretty good. Now's the test. So I'm going to, uh, in fact, here, let's just have a look. Power it up and fingers crossed we should have a uh, display on the screen. Yes, and let's just have a look at the quality of the display. Yeah, um, can't really tell the difference from this to the old one. But um, that is just on on the uh, you know at first glance. So I'm just going to log in and maybe if I log on to uh, YouTube and then uh, and play a video or something, and then we can kind of see um, what it's like. Right, so I'm going to test this screen with a uh, movie trailer on YouTube. Actually, the movie trailer I've chosen is uh, John Wick 3, which I did go and watch a few weeks ago. And um, if you like the other two movies, then um, you'll certainly enjoy John Wick 3. It is pretty much action from um, start to finish. And the sound quality is brilliant. Um, the movie scenes, the action and everything, really good movie. So let's just check it out how it displays on here. Well the first thing I'll notice is how sharp the image is. It's, um, it's very good, very very clear and sharp image. The colours are brilliant, nice and vibrant. Very good quality for a, um, a replacement screen. I'm just going to pause this. I mean, overall, uh, really happy with that. It was only £33 and um, what, five minutes to replace it. So, um, yeah, really pleased. I'll put a link in the description below to the screen that I bought um, just to. Uh, give a word of warning though, there are two versions of this screen, there's a 1080p version and there was also a lower quality or lower resolution version should I say. Um, so just make sure that you get the correct one to suit your laptop. Thanks for watching, um, be grateful you could just subscribe and uh, hope to see you on the next video.